hands. In three, two, one, go. And in our autonomous period, we have the Red Alliance putting up their cones on the upper nodes of their grid. And we also have the Blue Alliance getting a couple blue cubes up top as well. And we've got 1591 and they get the charging station activation. And we're into the regular play now. And now we've got the Blue Alliance moving over some cones into their grids on the outer grid and also the cooperation grid. We've also got 1559 with a cone in their clutches moving up to the grid to try to get the cone on the upper node. Will they get it up there? And they drop it on, it goes right on like butter. And 1507 has a cone in their hands as well. And they miss that upper node and drops into the crevasse. We've got 1507 going into the loading zone. Human player dropping a cone into their clutches and they've got it in there. 1591 has got another cube in the lower part of the grid. Score is 63-34 red on top. And we've got team 1565 with another blue cube in their grid and we also have the same thing 1591 has also placed two more cubes at the bottom these robots are moving furiously as we approach the last minute of this match we've got already a link on the red side we got two links on the red alliance we have one link on the blue alliance in the co-op grid 1559 has a cone, and oh no! Three, two, one, go. We've got a little bit of traffic over there on the blue end. Looks like one of the robots on the blue team has tipped over. It is now end game, 30 seconds left. Will they be able to balance out the charging station with the robot on the side? They are doing it. And they are there. Red has got two robots and so does blue. As we count on the last couple seconds of this match, 81-56. And that is the end of qualification match number 16. 103-78 picking up four ranking points. Blue picking up one ranking point.